Welcome to this brief webinar on crisis communications. My name's Kate Wall. I'm a senior facilitator with Ethos CRS, a former journalist and former media advisor in an area where every day had a crisis. Happily, not all of them public. How we as organisations and individuals communicate in a crisis is critical to how the media and the public respond. The most important thing for you and your organisation is to build trust. Trust in you, trust in the information you provide, and trust in your skills to handle and manage the situation. Here are some tips to remember no matter what crisis you're handling. Firstly, the information you give must be correct and relevant. Don't be afraid to share difficult or scary information. By sharing it and encouraging understanding of the challenges and possibly earlier mistakes, you'll build trust in your commitment to dealing with it. You might not have all the information because it simply may not be available. But the information you give out must be correct. Explain what is known, what's unknown, and what's being done to fill in the gaps. Accuracy encourages your audience to trust you and your organisation. And if you're trusted, you're credible. Be as honest as you can. Truth and honesty should never be compromised in a crisis. If you're honest, you'll seem trustworthy. Of course, in matters of national security and for legal and privacy reasons, some details may need to be omitted. But you can still talk around some of these issues so that the audience, the people you're trying to communicate with, sense that you're including them in your solutions. Your message must be consistent. An inconsistent message leads to confusion and can even raise fear and anxiety. Where relevant, coordinate the development of your message across departments and agencies and within your organisation. Fourthly, you want to get the information out quickly. To avoid public confusion, ideally be first. A crisis is time sensitive and nature abhors a vacuum. The first source of information often becomes the preferred source of information. If you have even just a small amount of information, that's okay. Better to get it out and add to it later. Also, the questions you're asked by the media will guide you towards what the public, your customers, your audience are concerned about. If you don't have more information, there's nothing wrong with being open about that and saying you're still investigating. Express your message in clear and concise language. If you're speaking to the media, repeat your message. Not exactly the same phrases, have a few different phrases and sentences ready that say the same things but using different words. Use language that your audience will understand. Remembering that around 44% of Australian adults read at a year 10 level or less. If you need to use jargon or technical terms, please explain them. And don't use bureaucratic buzzwords that might seem normal in your workplace but are meaningless to most people. Keep sentences short, aiming for no more than 15 words to a sentence. People also want to hear from people like them. In a crisis, they're less likely to trust authorities, especially if they feel that information has been hidden. A crisis can create harm or damage to people, to the environment, to countries. Show that you understand by being empathetic, but be sincere. People can spot a fake a mile away. Addressing people's feelings and what they're going through builds trust. And if they trust you, people are much more likely to listen and respond. But don't pretend you've been through the same thing. You'll be more believed if you say something like, I can barely imagine what you're going through. So to sum up, if you can provide accurate, relevant, clear and consistent messages that are delivered as quickly as possible,
You'll gain your audience's trust. You'll be believed, you'll avoid confusion, and if you follow these tips, you'll demonstrate that you and your organisation are competent and expert. I hope you enjoyed this webinar. If you're interested in learning more about what we've got to offer, please contact Ethos CRS. I look forward to hearing from you.